Hello everyone, Ryan Travis back with you guys to go over uh, one of our virtual inspections that we most recently did, uh, which will outline basically shingle migration or slippage and shingle delamination where the actual top course of the shingle or what you want to call your laminate portions, uh, the laminate portions will delaminate, the coefficient strip will break and that back mat will actually slide down so what you see when you pull up on a property that's got a dimensional shingle or architectural shingle, you'll just see the laminate portions hanging down. You'll hear some people refer to them as the teeth of the shingle still hanging down. In this photo right here, you'll see the technicians illustrating slippage. You'll see a little bit of the top exposure uh, right there where you can actually see a little bit of the back mat. It's not to say that shingles can't be installed this way, uh, but throughout this entire roofing system, we've seen a lot of um, shingles that were actually sliding or migrating downwards uh, due to the pitch of the roof. This was a 10, 12, and then just basically gravity and the weight of the shingles actually wanting to slide down. Uh, but the installation of the fasteners does play a pivotal, pivotal role in all that. One of the next ones that we really wanted to get into is the delamination. Uh, now, in this situation here, and it usually will remain true to most carriers, delamination is something that you can pinpoint, but if the shingles are missing, you cannot say wind didn't play a vital role in removing those shingles off the roofing system. So your approximate, we call it a concurrent cause of loss, your approximate cause of loss would be uh, installation if you can identify some of the over under driven nails and high low nailing uh, where uh, the installers didn't nail in the uh, nail strip. But um, your secondary cause of loss would be wind, uh, wind at some point in time, microburst wind or, or low cell storm system with uh, high straight line winds will actually pull these shingles up and just pop them a little bit and just break them, crease them or flip them on off, off the roofing system and you'll see them laying in the yard. But on this next photo, we'll get up close and kind of see a little bit of the delamination. Um, that actual photo right there, the technician is just illustrating how the nail has ripped through that back mat. Um, that can be attributed to wind. It can also just, you know, with that shingle just constantly moving around, it can also be attributed to a little bit of shingle migration. Um, but you'll see, I believe in this next photo that the technician has is the laminate portions of the shingle or pulling away. So you see the cohesive strip is no longer adhering. That mat that's behind that will slide down and off of the roofing system. And the only thing that you will see up there is the laminate portions hanging down. This is what we refer to as delamination. So once again, slippage is the whole shingle itself just sliding or migrating down. You'll see them usually they look like they're tilted and then delamination, you really just see the teeth, the laminate portions of the shingle hanging down and the actual back mat has, has pulled off or moved down. You can see there's no way you can't call that wind. You've got prominent creasing and some tears in the shingles right there. And I know a lot of people that'll still say, oh, well that's, you know, that's mechanical damage. It's not, you know, when shingles are, you know, not adhered, like that, wind can do some crazy stuff to some shingles. Um, so really wanted to cover that and go over that. Now, I said that, and then I'm gonna say this on the rear slope, because um, I've seen these photos. When you've just got tearing and corner tears, vertical tears, you know, once again, we can't for 100% certainty say that it's not wind related. Uh, but we basically go off the investigation of what we're looking at. You know, if we've got missing crease shingles, obviously we can attribute that more towards wind. Uh, and that's what most of your adjusters are going to be looking at. Stuff like that, you know, portions of the laminate portion is torn. And you just see the backside of that cohesive strip. You know, that's, that's more mechanical damage. I mean, wind uh, is not essentially going to grab just a little corner and tear it. You can see there were some other problems with this roofing system. Uh, where other shingles have blown off in the past or possibly when they replaced one of the slopes, uh, they harvested some of the shingles and put them where some of the damaged shingles were. So 
most cases we'll write that up as a prior repair unless you know we're told differently that they were just recently done then at that point in time they would be considered a temporary repair but all in all still going through the roofing system still documenting the property as a whole um and, and that's one of the main things that, that we have to do for our investigation uh, to determine the cause of loss and the overall uh, account of damage that we need to record. But one of these last photos is you can see the difference in coloration right there, the shingles. That's not two different shingles. It's actually the same shingle, but one, the right side you see there is much older. The left side right there of that adjacent hip is newer and the oxidation process hasn't really occurred you leave you know those newer shingles on there for about eight to ten years they won't really ever catch up to what the older shingles look like but the oxidation will come into play and they will fade and those granules will actually lighten up a whole lot more than kind of like you're seeing there so that's what the technician is illustrating but anyways wanted to cover that with you guys today um some one of the, some of the things that we run into when we're out in the field and we get a lot of information about delamination and slippage. So thank you for turning in. You guys have a good day.